Hi everyone, can these be reused? Split lock washers, internal tooth lock washers, and lock nuts. Let's find out. Three samples for plain nuts, split lock washers, internal tooth lock washers, and lock nuts with nylon inserts. We use this deflecting beam torque wrench and digital hanging scale. As covered in an earlier video, the distance from this point on the handle to the center of the head is 12 inches. So the palms reading on the scale will be the foot pounds of torque. All the nuts will be tightened to 13 foot pounds and the braking torques will be recorded. Round one, plain nuts, eight pounds, 9.6 pounds and 9.2 pounds. Split lock washers, 8 pounds, 9.6 pounds and 6.8 pounds. Internal tooth lock washers, 8.6 pounds, 5.8 pounds and 2.6 pounds. Lock nuts, 6.6 pounds, 8.6 pounds. 8.8 pounds. Tighten all the nuts back to 13 foot pounds for round two. Round two, plain nuts. 9 pounds, 10.8 pounds, and 9.6 pounds. Split lock washers, 10.4 pounds, 10.8 pounds, and 9.6 pounds. Internal tooth lock washers, 10 pounds, 6.4 pounds and 5.2 pounds. Lock nuts, 10 pounds, 11.2 pounds and 10.6 pounds. Round three, plain nuts, 11 pounds, 11.2 pounds and 11 pounds. Split lock washers, 11 pounds, 10.4 pounds and 8.8 .8 pounds. Internal tooth lock washers, 6 pounds, 5.2 pounds, and 6.6 .6 pounds. Lock nuts, 10.6 pounds, 11.4 pounds, and 10.4 pounds. For the plain nuts, the average breaking torque went up in each round. Split lock washers, average breaking point went up in round two and then slightly down in round three. Internal tooth lock washers, average breaking point was low and went up and then down. Lock nuts, average breaking point went up in each round. In this small scale test, reusing the lock washers and lock nuts didn't seem to affect their performance at all that much. Maybe several more rounds would make a difference. The benefit of the lock nuts and split lock washers is they couldn't be easily removed with my fingers after the braking torque was applied, while the plain nuts and internal tooth lock washers could easily be spun. I'm close to figuring a way to make a DIY junker vibration tester, so stay tuned for that video.